plenty of people have said to me, um, you know, this book is not about surfing. Which, you know, it is, but they'll say, no, it it's is, about, it's you know, it it's about men, right. it's about love, it's about right. obsession. You said all surfers are oceanographers. And I know it's a, obviously an acquired skill to learn to read water like that, but do you think there's something innate there too, something about you that is drawn to the water on a very basic level? I, I mean, yes, but I don't think I'm the least bit unique in that. I mean, there are all too many surfers, or loads and loads of surfers, and and I'm happy to sort of make that point that um, that what these guys you might glance down across the beach, out in the water, you know, what they're doing out there um, is really it might be pretentious to call it the intellectual work of surfing, but they're all studying right. very very closely the ocean, trying to understand their little patch of coast and how to respond creatively and intelligently to that. Well, and interacting with the water almost is another organic being and you're trying to predict what it's gonna do. The surfers I most enjoy watching, um, you know, really, really good surfers, I don't find myself usually saying, geez, you know, how did he do that? It's more, how did he understand that? How did he know to do that? How did he know the wave was going to do that? It's like this superior, intelligence and intuition that goes along with the physical ability. I loved how you wrote about being that age, being in junior high. How much of your understanding of that time period of, in your life comes from adult reflection? Just about all of it. Yeah. I mean, what I remember is the, you know, the physical setting and how it smelled, but actually what was in my head, um, that's filled in as you write. And in hindsight, I see that I was um, going through a sort of life-changing uh, period of sort of commitment to surfing. But at the time, right. could I have explained it? Right. I have a, a cache of letters from that period. And it's all just surfing, 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 yeah. what I was doing. Not entirely reflective. Right. So that comes more with, you know, the writing. Bill, thank you so much for joining us for A Word on Words. Oh, my pleasure. It was great to have you. And thank you for watching. I'm Mary Laura Philpot. Keep reading. What was that like reading your 13-year-old self? I was sort of struck by the lack of talent. Um, <laughs> you know, I was really sort of straining for cliché metaphors for surfing. Right. And, and, and also, I, I had to question my veracity. I mean, there were some adventures that were a little too adventurous. Mm -hmm.